Hello again. So I'm displaying another magazine article on Masterland Cam Tune. This comes from Fighters Magazine from April 1988. This magazine is no longer available and I'm presenting it here for education and information only. The copyright stays with the magazine and the author. I shall leave it to you, the viewer, to make the video full screen so that you can read each page of the article for yourselves. I shall just give a brief overview and a little bit of background information. In the article, we are introduced to Professor Yu Yong Nian as one of Master Lam's teachers, I believe for the very first time. Myself and my training partner, Douglas Robertson, were lucky enough to be part of the audience for this demonstration. The demonstration began with one of Master Lam's senior students performing a very impressive bok pai form. Master Lam's wife, Lam Kai Sin, demonstrated the Northern Shaolin Dragon Straight Sword form. Master Lam's students and some of their students demonstrated everything from forms and techniques to pushing hands with applications. In the photos on this page, you will see Master Lam and his wife, Lam Kai Sin, doing the sword form. I unfortunately don't know the name of the students in the small corner picture. On this page, the picture at the top left is Pauline Harding. The two members of the audience are trying to pull her hands apart. The man on the left is Douglas Robertson. The bottom left is one of Master Lamb's sons, having two people from the audience trying to push his knees in together. The bottom right has Jane Ward pushing off a young Richard Rioch. Within the demo itself, Master Lamb did a number of very impressive demonstrations. Here we have Master Lamb in the centre photo in pain position, ready to push off everybody pressing on him. In the picture below that, here's a line of people who he is about to do press on. The first person in that line is Dave Lee, and the last two people in that line that you can see is Douglas Robertson and myself. For the demonstrations of power, Master Lamb used a line of people to perform press and his own students to perform peng, where a number of them were pressing upon him and he repels them all at the same time. In the adjacent page we see the results of the peng position as he, Master Lamb throws off everybody who are pressing on him and then also the press position where the line of people have started to roll back. As it's still pictures, it's very difficult for you to see the full effect. Here in the centre picture we have Master Lamb on the tabletop, as you can see it's not a large table. Master Lamb performing his entire short form on a tabletop. Modified only in the stepping, the high quality of this form was a really impressive sight. It was amazing to see. On the bottom picture we have Master Lamb doing press again but on a two-man lineup this time with Dave Lee in the front. The purpose of this demonstration is merely to show the transference of energy, much like a Newton's cradle shows exactly the same thing. Finally, this is Master Lamb's lineage from his book The Way of Power. Lineage is important in Chinese martial arts because it gives you roots. It lets you know what influences there are in the style that you are learning. But also, in this, notice no one is called Master or Grandmaster in the lineage. They just have their name. That's because at the end of the day, you are who you are. The titles don't mean anything. If you haven't done already, please like the videos and subscribe to the channel.